Okay, so I am trying to make a doll into baby Jason Voorhees. I don't know if this will be a video or what I'm doing, but uh, I will put a picture here what the doll looked like before I started. But I have a baby doll here. I've already started. And uh, we will see. But I also have this paint set I got on Amazon for $10. It's right here. They're pretty good size for $10. Um, but yeah, so it's acrylic paint. And this is a small doll that was about $10. I probably could buy something like this on Etsy for the price that I'm trying to make it. But um, I just wanted to try. So uh, we'll see how it comes along. Um, and I am going finding ideas, honestly, on Etsy to see what people did. So there's a couple photos I'm looking at, but um, I'm still, it's a work in progress still. So I just wanted you to know that. <laughs> so the paint set says that it takes at least 10 minutes to dry um, the acrylic paint. It's permanent after it dries. So I've already gotten it on my hand. <laughs> so I put on an extra coat of white. But I'm gonna put on uh, the, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna try to put on that, uh, the thing that goes on the top and the sides. Oh, it's <laughs> getting it in my hair whatever that's called, um, strap. <laughs> I'm gonna try to put the strap on it. And I have some silver paint, cause I saw online his mask had the little silver hickey doos, um, whatever those are on the top and then, so we'll try that those next. Those dots or, I don't know what you call them, little metal hickey doos. I did that and then I'm gonna try to put the uh, black. Can you see it? That's what I tried to do. I'm very crafty, so we'll see how this all turns out another silver coat on there for those thingies. What are those? Tell me. I don't know what they are. Um, and then I did that. Maybe if you actually traced the, the traced all of it, it wouldn't be like mine, but we're just winging it here. I forgot to update you on this. Okay, so I got the red paint out and I started doing that red there. And then now I'm doing those dots. Okay, here's the little baby. I don't think I'm gonna touch up anymore on the face because I don't want to make it worse. Like by the eye here, I was starting to goof up because some paint got into the white of the eyes. But I might put some green or gray on the skin. What do you think? I thought I saw one like that and I really liked it. You know, because it's just looking too clean right now. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about this outfit because it's such a tiny baby doll. This is probably like a 12 inch doll. So, <laughs> I don't really know, but I might try to figure out how I can put, see here's the paints, I got this dark green, but what if I put that gray on the skin, you know, like he's coming out of the water, what do you think? I think I'm going to try it, and then if it doesn't work out, I'll, I don't know what I'll do, but. <laughs> so here is the finished little baby. I don't know if that looks good or not, but I have some, uh, um, I put some extra paint there, because I didn't want him to look completely clean. So, you know, this is my first time doing this. I'm not a reborn doll person or anything, which with the amount of time that it takes, like this didn't take me that long, but I can see why the reborn dolls can get expensive. Now, this is only for me. I'm not going to go and sell it anywhere, but uh, that's, that's it. Look at that little piece. <laughs> my favorite. He's my favorite. Oh my God. But anyway, let me know if you make something like this or what you would have done different. I'd love to hear. Maybe you wouldn't put all that paint on it. <laughs> Have a great day.